Welcome back. Um, the more I play with the Gradle, the more I notice it's got some quirks which might throw you for a loop a bit. So we're going to change this up just a hair. We're going to run the same program except we're going to have it inside of Ant instead. So I'm just going to make a new project. We're going to go Java with Ant, make a nice Java application. And it's going to build very much the same as Gradle did. We'll call this oh, Area Ant just so we can change the so we can see the difference. And it already makes a main class for us. If that's checked, that's perfect. We'll go finish. We'll make a nice little program here for us. And there we are. We've got area ant right down here in the source packages. We have our area ant Java, and it's nicely shown up. And all I want to do is go to my area Java, the first one we built, and we're just going to grab these lines right out of it, which is basically our program. We're going to leave pretty much everything else the same. We'll go control C and we'll bring it over here and we'll put it right there. Right where it belongs inside in the, under the public static void main string args. And then, oh, I'm also going to go and grab my Java docs because my Java docs are already done. So I'll just copy those and I'll paste those over to the Java ant. So we've got the same program just sitting in a slightly different, oops, I hit the wrong button there. Control C on this one, Control V on this one, not two Control Cs. There we go. So everything's nicely lined up now, and that'll make me happy. If I run this program, it'll run exactly the same way as the other one did, and gives me the exact same value. Excellent. Now I can just close out this area from Gradle, and we can work on the new one. So what we're going to do here is we're going to learn how to get data input into the into the program so we can have user data so that we can change the values of length and area while the program is running so we can calculate the value of any rectangle at any time we want. So I'm going to start by getting rid of this line and I'm going to start by getting rid of this line or not this line but that little bit of code there and now it's going to tell us this program won't work because the, the formula doesn't have any values. That's right it won't. Um, so what we need to do next is we need to import a utility that will allow us to get data from the user to open an input stream. So we need to bring it up near the top, below, below the package. We're going to import java.util.scanner. So this is going to import a scanner from the Java Utilities library. So this is a function built into Java that you only call when you need. And it's going to give us a little warning on the sign that says, hey, you're not using this. And these warnings will stay up until we actually use the scanner. It's a way to help keep your programs light if you have a bunch of different things imported. It's not trying to run a bunch of utilities that you don't need. Now, how are we going to use that utility? Well, we're actually going to gather the information that we need, the values of the two variables, before it gets to the formula. So before we do that, we need to prompt the, um, we're going to prompt the user. Um, first thing we're going to do is just give a quick description of, of what they're going to be doing. So we'll do a quick system, uh, system dot out dot print line, and in that system dot out dot print line, uh, oops, we'll put in a thing and we'll be calculate the area of a rectangle. It's a good little prompt. Somebody will know what's going on here. I'll just close that off with a semicolon. And now we actually need to sort of initialize that scanner so that the scanner can be used. So we're going to type in the word scanner, and then we need to give the scanner a name. You can give it any name that you want. Pretty much a lot of people use, def uh, use input as sort of the default standard. The scanner is gathering input. If it was some kind of specific input for a program, you could, you could do that, or you could name it that way as well and we'll make that and that becomes a new scanner and unlike a print line which is system out this is a system dot in so we're grabbing information to come into our scanner called input so that is the scanner's name now how are we going to get in well we have to again prompt the user to do something so to prompt the user we'll use another system dot out dot print line Actually, I'm going to use a print instead of a print line here. So, and then we're nicely going to print uh, enter length. And then I'll put like a semicolon and a space. 
and so it'll print that out on screen and then what we're going to do is have the user enter the enter the value in order to get them to enter the value we have to get them to enter it into the scanner so we are looking for the length so we, that's our variable and we're going to get that from the input scanner which is the same name as our scanner input and what are we looking for well we're looking for the next integer that goes into that scanner and so we will open the scanner so we will put in the next integer and that will automatically be assigned to the length variable now we're going to do something very similar for the width so system.out.print and we're going to now use a nice uh, quote here enter width and oops why am I backspacing so much and then we'll just do a quick width equals again our input scanner we don't have to use multiple scanners if we're just getting nice linear information it is going to grab the next integer put into that scanner and then we are going to do a, a simple input.close which means this scanner is now done if you wanted to get more information further on you'll have to open another scanner so we've got an input.close oh, gotta make sure I put the semicolon on the end of that so our input is now closed great what happens next well you'll notice that this is not read anymore this is nicely saying it's going to get a value for length it's going to get a value for width and it should nicely work as far as the program goes now so now when I run it down at the bottom it waits at enter length calculate the area of a rectangle enter the length so now if we just click in here you'll notice you have a cursor I'll put in oh let's say 25 hit enter and now it says enter width I put in 3 and it calculates the area of rectangle is 75 we could add things like we could make it fancier uh, by example